Smell. Yeah, she smells them all to make sure. They're really? Hell yeah. Well, you can tell if it smells funky. Don't add it. <laughs> <laughs> Good rule. If it We're smells funky, don't here. add it. <laughs> We're on 66th Street in Bensonhurst. It's the end of the summer now, so this is the time of year where uh, we make tomato sauce. Basically, we process them, put them in cans, and we have tomato sauce for the whole year. So the whole family is together right now in the alley. We got a bunch of bushels of tomatoes back there. We're about to get busy. Friday night was great. Saturday morning. These are plum tomatoes, also known as Roma tomatoes. These are the ones that, that produce the best sauce. They have the most pulp in it. So we have 10 bushels of tomatoes. Each bushel is 60 pounds. So we have 600 pounds of tomato. I honestly don't remember the first time that I made tomato sauce in my family. It's always been a constant in my life. We've already went over how to cut the tomatoes three different times. Everyone's still doing it their own way, in, in quarters or in halves. Well, Some that, people cut off the top. To, to me, cutting off the top is a lazy way. You got to go in and core it out. Yeah, Look no, how you much you're cutting off, though, that you don't need to. And what do you do? Watch and learn, my friend. <laughs> yeah, watch and learn. <laughs> yeah, look at that. You're taking off the whole freaking top of the tomato. You know what's funny about this? Every single year we've been doing this since I'm th I just turned 36 years old. There's still freaking debates on how to do simple things like cutting the tomato. Everybody's got a method. Everybody's arguing about a certain way to do it every single year. It doesn't change. I find that to be hysterical. We need cutters. Gio, we need you to cut. What are you doing? I'm just finishing the Okay. If you don't put a little fire under them, everybody will just sit around socializing. Meanwhile, there's so many tomatoes to cut. Well, I'm in the family for 38 years, and I've always made tomato sauce with them. I think it's something that they used to do in Sicily, and it just became a tradition that they bought over here. We just cut them in half because then they go through the machine. If there's a part like this might be a little hard, you know, just take the top off, just to take a quick peek to make sure the inside of the tomato is good. This is Rose, our cousin. <laughs> Primary tomato cutter. She's a wonderful woman, a great cook. Thank you. <laughs> she was here at 7.30 this morning. We were not. I came at 7.30, yeah, right. You've always made pomodoro, no? Oh, yeah, but... And Italia. No. No? No, just over here. My husband, you know, my daughter. So this became a tradition for her, too, when she got married. I'm finding my groove right now. Yeah, that's right. Oh, God, look at this, this guy's back. Stina, yeah. put your shirt on. <laughs> this guy thinks he's 11 years old again in Brooklyn on his bicycle. Yeah. Yeah. Want to come and take a look at the sauce, see if it's ready? It's time to go check this sauce. We're going to check the thickness of it, the smell, the taste. Yeah. Oh, you don't want too much, that's it. I'm going too high. That's good. So what my cousin Mike is doing right now is he's stirring the cut tomatoes. Um, the ones that we just cut over there, we threw into the pot and we're cooking them down. So as soon as you get the tomatoes in, it's really important to kind of stir them and, and get them cooked down a little bit because they'll start to burn. Once these are cooked down, then we run them through the machine. The machine will spit out a tomato sauce that looks sort of like this, like a little bit lighter, you know, more watery. At that point now, Gio will stand over here and just continue to mix this. And this is where, like, on a hot day and stuff, you know, it gets like, a, it feels like a lot of work because you sweat. Well, the bandana came on. Yeah, that's what they've been, it's better, it's better to sweat on the bandana than inside the, the tomato sauce. <laughs> Frank, you remember when I used to live upstairs in the apartment and about 4.30 in the morning, I would hear, Michael, scream, yeah, no, no, come down, Michael, <laughs> 4.30. I would go over, oh, all right, no, I'll be there down in a little bit. He was down there. And doing everything already. Oh my god. I made it down like about <laughs> six, six thirty, but I, I couldn't do four thirty. I'm like my grandmother. I needed my I need to get my rest. <laughs> I need my I need my beauty sleep. <laughs> yeah. That's the liquid gold. What my father's doing right now is he's taking the excess tomato, which all that that's really good stuff. And he's just kind of scraping it off of the machine and making sure that all the good stuff gets down into the pot. Every once in a while, it'll like 
squared up on you. Up. I think I should have won with the all red like my father. Maybe next year. We'll make some tomato shirts for this. Basically, where the sauce is right now, um, it's still in a little bit of a raw state. So we're going to throw that into the pot. We're going to continue to cook that until it's thick. How it going? Still going. Still going, still yeah. boiling. Reducing nicely, though. Beautiful. The bottom feels good? It feels perfect. Amazing. It smells good. Oh, wait. Right? It's got to be hungry. You need that smell of vision. <laughs> it looks good. Yeah, right? Yeah, it is. <laughs> the consistency is nice, though. Yeah, right? How does it taste? It's great. I think you yeah. should have another five-gallon bucket. Um, it's good. The sauce is really good. Now you're the best at it. One, two. This step is just about being careful. You know, you don't want to burn yourself. These tomatoes are extremely hot. In the years that I remember in the past, we put basil in the jar. I guess, what, a couple years ago we stopped doing it? Yeah, a few years ago. Um, so I think it's always best to season it when you're ready to eat it. Essentially, these tomatoes are not, you know, it's not like a tomato sauce that you're ready to open up and just make pasta with, you know? You still have to, you know, chop up some onions, garlic, you know, herbs, whatever your way of making tomato sauce is. This is just a jump off point. How many jars will we get out of all these bushels? We're looking at about somewhere in the 200, uh, in the 200 jar bracket. So after this process, then we store them in a cool place in the basement for about two weeks. These tomatoes are canned up. They're still super hot. Um, we pack them up into the cases and kind of stack them up in here. And then we take like a bunch of towels just like these and we, and we put them over the top for them to go through like a curing process. There is one exception to the rule of not curing the sauce, and that's the fresh tomato sauce that we eat that my Aunt Martha is preparing right now upstairs. When we made sauce, my mother always made the sauce, and we sat around the table and we tried the new sauce. We always, um, you know, we look forward to it. So these kids are used to it, we've always had it, and it's like when there's no sauce, it's like a panic. We only have 12 jars left. We have to be careful because we're not doing it again until next year. Very beautiful. That's what I'm here for, the muscles. Yes. Yeah, give it a stir, muscle man. <laughs> <laughs> Let's get the basil. Mmm, nice. Very nice. That's, is that, is that homegrown? This is from your yard. Yeah, it looks from great. From your parents. It looks great. It smells nice. I, I've been blessed on my mother's side. My aunts were both amazing bakers, and like really, really talented and did an amazing job. And on my father's side, my grandmother and my Aunt Martha are two of the most talented cooks I've ever come across. So she, whatever is in the fridge, she whips up always something amazing. I have these beautiful eggplants. This one thing my mother taught me when you buy eggplant, always get the real green top. When you get as green as this, that means there's no seeds. I'm going to dice them, and then we're going to sprinkle them on our pasta. I never knew that trick with the green top. You didn't know that? No. Thank you. Ooh! Lemon water, fresh eggplant cut up. It's going to be good tonight. Wow, this looks delicious. It is perfect. Yeah, it's it perfect. Need no, it's sweet, it's delicious. So we got the sauce going. What are the next steps to kind of finish up dinner? We're gonna have pasta, we're gonna have the rotini, we're gonna have ricotta, and we got a sausage and peppers. All right, we got the eggplant in here cooking. Let's see how they're looking. Mm. I'm Monty, you ready for these? Okay. You got it? Nice. Nice. A little fresh ricotta. Look at this. Yeah. Unbelievable, isn't it? Yeah. Bon appetito. Wow. Bon appetito. I have to say, actually, one of the best I've ever had. This is one of the really one of the best. It really has. has. Mont cheese brings luck. Today was another successful year of making tomato sauce. We have four generations of Pinellos here working together. Now this is the best time where we finally get to sit down and enjoy the fresh tomato sauce like Nonna taught us to. Salute, I love all you guys. Thank you. Thank you.
Eh, 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 eh,